Why do people let their cats roam around their town or city as outdoor cats? I've always found this kind of strange. Why do people let their cats freely roam around their neighborhood and beyond? I never know if I should try to take the cat in and find their owner, or if it's just an outdoor cat that someone lets roam around without any supervision or anything. I'm not trying to be a Karen. I'm just not with it, or with the times, I guess, and have always wondered if these outdoor cats are strays that accidentally got loose. Maybe they unexpectedly dashed out the front door one day and someone's looking for them that kind of thing. Edit Yes. Things are different in different parts of the world, and different animals live in different parts of the world. I should have been more upfront about this. Edit yes, correct, coyotes don't live in every single country on earth. Edit yes, by mentioning coyotes, which are not native to every country on earth, I have a narrow worldview and need to consider countries outside of North America, which do, in fact, exist. Edit I apologize that most people in Canada keep their cats indoors, and don't have a cat. Edit tired of the hate mobs, fighting, name calling, etc. I have a neighbor a few doors down that has a cat and a dog. When they take the dog for a walk, the cat follows. Never seen anything like it. Because they've never had their cat killed by a coyote. In much of the world and for most of history, this is just what it meant to have a cat. The cat doesn't sleep in your bed or anything. The cat just lives nearby in association with you and eats rodents. And supplements its rodent diet with the food you give it. The cat gets handouts. And you get a measure of pest control. The fully indoor cat is a recent invention. People in the 1300s were not scooping litter boxes. Interestingly. Our local shelter Germany only gives cats to people who either have a garden or a balcony with a net so it can't fall. It's obvious that the cat wouldn't stay in the garden but freely roam around. They are completely pro-outdoor. Not only if the cat is used to going roam outside, but for any cat. I'm in my 40s. And growing up in Canada it was considered abusive to keep your cat indoors. I didn't even know people thought it was bad until a couple years ago when Reddit started bringing it up all the time. Australian here cats introduced species killing native wildlife is a legit issue here. Also, I'm not dropping $2,000 AUD on a purebred Russian only to have it wiped out by a vehicle because Kitty has zero road sense. Note we also have two rescue cats. Besides, we have a cat enclosure outside that's about 20 square meters the whole side of the house cats. Catch all kinds of critters small lizards snakes mostly we rescue as many as we can once. They've been hauled inside just in that enclosure best of both worlds. It's not hard. My indoor outdoor came that way. Would rip a hole in the wall to get out. I like when he comes in but he has made it clear he is not ours to keep. He has a job and I pay him in room and board is how it works. I catch him to get shots when it's time for that and give him flea prevention. My other cat is a pretty princess and does not go out at all and I would never let her but she also doesn't seem interested. Got another cat who goes out to the patio for naps but doesn't roam. She is a bit aged for climbing fences or anything like it but likes to be close to me when I work. In the yard. For all the commenters who are pro-outdoor cat, the domestic cat is directly responsible for the extinction of many local bird species. They are really bad for local ecosystems. With the times, people were letting cats out hundreds of years ago. My cat went out one day and never came back loudly crying. Me, a Brit in a country where letting cats out is normal. Opens thread. The comment section is a shit show. Closes thread. My cat came to us from outside as a stray. 
She was pregnant and meowed on our porch until we let her in. Nine years later, she spends about 70 of her time inside. But there is absolutely no stopping her when she decides to go outside. She still has a bit of that wild alley cat in her. My other two her children never go outside except on harness. I don't want to have outdoor cats. But when they come from outside it's hard to break them of that desire to go outside. To kill mice. I'm just not with it. Or with the times. I guess. This is a rather odd thing to say. Back in the day. Everyone let their cats roam outside. Strictly keeping your cats indoors 24-7 is relatively new. I've only seen outdoor cats be cats that adopted a family. Like their strays that just show up and hang out. And eventually liked hanging out so much they stick nearby. But they're not comfortable with being in a house. My partner had a cat just like that while she was growing up he passed a few months ago from FIV. I guess it depends on your location country. I'm from Australia and outdoor cats are a menace since they kill native birds and other wildlife. But on a personal level one don't want to have my cats be outdoors because my family's last outdoor. Cat got skin cancer from being out in the sun all day and I think she would have lived a longer. Life if not for that I guess there are a myriad of other diseases cats can catch if they are. Outside a lot too. Cats on harnesses though are pretty cool that way they get outside time without all the threats. From and towards them. In Europe you'll never see indoor only cats except if they live in a flat without outdoor access. Everyone let their cat out. And we have many outdoor only cat as well. They are not all pets. We had an indoor outdoor cat growing up. It had a cat door and would spend days in the backyard or roaming around the suburban neighborhood. But would also hang out and sleep in the house. I don't know if there's a specific reason behind it other than we figured cats like being outdoors. And that's how most people's cats were at the time in the area. Also your edits made me giggle. It seems that you assume that people only take rational decisions aligned with your values. And it's not so. Humans have lived with cats for thousands of years. They've always been outside. And for most of history the idea of keeping them always inside would have been absurd. So having outside cats is a deeply rooted cultural custom. I agree that is something we should change for biodiversity's sake. But we can't expect it to happen overnight just because we think it's better. I grew up in the country where previous generations were farmers. It was just normal to have barn cats. I moved to California and it feels like if you have an outdoor cat you're the absolute devil. I want to own acres of land and homestead and if I do I will have outdoor cats. I think the ethics depend on where you live and how voracious of a hunter your cat is. I love all of your edits tears of joy. My cat would murder me if I forced her to stay inside. Cats have always been going freely in and out of the houses of their owners. Read up on Istanbul if you want to learn about an extreme example of this. I think it's only in the New World countries that indoor-only cats are more common. Not many people are responsible pet owners. Unfortunately, for some reason, there's an opinion that cats need to have outdoor access. Which is completely untrue it lowers their quality of life and negatively affects local fauna. Edit to all the people who don't agree with my statement. Just do some research on your own. All other arguments aside, this is the bottom line cats have made 63 species of birds. Mammals and reptiles go extinct because they don't only hunt to eat. They hunt and kill to play. And will therefore quickly wipe prey animals out entirely. They are an evasive species and to this day adversely affect their environment. Keep your cats in the damn house.